Here. Welcome to the answer video to the Q&A video. Today we're going to look at all the questions and I'm going to answer them all. And I have a pretty uh, pretty big list here of people who asked like multiple questions, so here we go. First came from D. Dave. He asks, why does Dave suck? I don't know, he just does, man. <laughs> I think like you, you should know that, D. Come on, man. <laughs> but okay, then, then from Stingray55, he asks three questions. One, what does Aaron smell like? He smells a lot better than Jock, I'll tell you that, because he actually bathes. Uh, two, why are you banning people that watch your videos? I'm not banning people, I'm just banning trolls. I just hate uh, people who do light trolling, you know, just fun troll is like what I like, like to call it. Those people are fun, but people that just constantly, you know, shoot neg negativity and just, you know, bad vibes and shit like that. And that's the type of stuff that I remove. So yeah. Also, all the questions that were in the health, the, all the questions that were in the health for review, and likely spam, those all have been d deleted because those had nothing to do with my video in general, or whatever. I've also heard that some people are have commented on my video and they're not showing up. Uh, I've checked in the health review and likely spam, and they're still not showing up. So if you asked a question and it didn't show up, I don't want to tell you like YouTube is f fucking up a lot like recently. So sorry if your question didn't get shown. I so apologize. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'm banning only certain trolls. Like, if you troll, like, a lot, like, a fucking really good bit and just act like a piece of shit, then, yeah, I'm obviously going to fucking ban you. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, and he asks, and three, what do you do for a living, brother? I work for a company called RGIS. We do inventory for other stores like Kmart, Walmart, Target, Victoria's Secret. We do Publixes. I think we either do Publixes or Winn-Dixies. It's one of the two. But, uh, yeah, it's one of them. Also, by the way, I'm drinking old school Dr. Pepper made made with real sugar. Which, by the way, any soda or any kind of drink they have, definitely drink it in a in a bottle in a glass bottle like this. It, feels, it tastes really good. It really preserves the, uh, the the flavor. Also, Dr. Dr. with sugar, fucking amazing. It tastes so much better better than the stuff that, that we got now. They do make. Dr. Pepper with with the sugar, you can get it at Winn-Dixie, so that would definitely be getting a fuck ton of uh, cans of those. Mm, fucking good, man. Yeah, I got like a, a case of four of those, so for like four bucks, it's not that great, but hey, it was cool to have it. But <clears throat> but yeah, we do stores basically like like those. Um, Mr. Pickles Peabody asks, "Have you ever seen Aaron's dicks?" Uh, two. Two answers to that. One, no, I've one, I've not seen Aaron's dicks. I've not seen his dick in general. Uh, two, I did not know that Aaron had multiple dicks. Apparently, Mr. Pickles P Peabody has seen Aaron's multiple dicks. Okay, dude. Like, if you like that, if you like other men's penises, that, that's fine, man. Like, I didn't know that you crave that fucking like multiple penis thing. That's cool, man. I don't just dis discriminate, so so thank you for that. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Curtis Schultz, I think I pronounced that right. He asks three questions. Are you a Star Wars fan? Kinda. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I I enjoy watching Star Wars. I've seen episodes one, two, three, four, five, and six. I have not seen seven yet. I hope to soon at some point. But uh, yeah, I mean, I I enjoy Star Wars. Are you a Transforms fan? I think you mean Transformers. Uh, yes, my entire collection is like right there. You can kind of see it right, right there. Yeah, right here. So. I'm a huge Transformers fan, so there it is. And would you show me around for garage sales and flea markets in your area if I came down from Michigan? Um, depends on my work schedule, honestly. Uh, usually people who ask that usually just go for Aaron or Scott for, for that type of stuff. But again, it all just depends on my work schedule, so there's an answer to that. So thank you, Curtis. Um, Jay Tunes, I love this guy. He's a great person. Um, also, I love your your icon, dude. Looks really looks really uh swag. J Tunes asks two questions: favorite Cartoon Network show, and what is your favorite thing to collect for? Favorite Cartoon Network show? That's kind of hard, actually. <laughs> um, 
I'll say for old and, and new, uh, old, some of my favorites were shows like Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, I think I said Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Uh, Cow and Chicken. Um, Courage the Cowardly Dog probably is my favorite, right next to Samurai Jack. Which, by the way, I know that Samurai Jack is coming back for a new season. I think it's already out, but I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But uh, I cannot wait to watch that. I'm a huge Samurai Jack fan. I love Samurai Jack. But, yeah, as for new favorite cartoon network show from nowadays, the only thing that I really enjoy watching probably is uh, Steven Universe. I mean, the writing is really good on that show. I know people kind of say that, oh, it's pr promoting gay marriage via because, you know, of Garnet, who's two females fused, which... Technically, Dragon Ball Z was doing that way before Steven Universe, so really, is there any point to, to bitch at that? I mean, you got guys like Goku and Vegeta that make, Go, that make Gogeta and Vegito, so... So I think there, there's no reason to, to complain over, you know, that little thing, because Dragon Ball Z has, has done that before, so... But favorite thing to collect for, it's obviously that behind me, Godzilla, slash, well, Kaiju in general. I, I've been collecting that for, like, years, so I really have, um... Pretty much like no other thing. I'm gonna be buying a new figure very soon. I will do an unboxing of video for it. It's gonna be pretty damn big. It's gonna be like 12 inches tall. So, and I'll be doing, and that I'm gonna be paying off this upcoming paycheck of this week. So, once it ships, I will definitely do an unboxing video for it. So, yay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, Godzilla is my favorite thing to, to collect. So, yeah, there we go. eBay Hunters asks, uh, what was your first video game you ever played? It was... Excuse me. It was uh, Street Fighter 2, the Special Championship or Champion Edition on the Sega Genesis. That was my first ever game I played. That was my first ever Street Fighter game, and which kind of start, started my interest for Street Fighter. But once I saw Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, that solidified my love for Street Fighter. So, so that's my take on that. Nacho Man 64, I love this guy. Um, he asks, what, what is your hentai collection up to? Well, it's up to the great number of zero. I have no hentai currently on my, my hard drive. Maybe later, though. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Core has a fuck ton of, of hentai. A lot, actually. Including a really damn good bit of yaoi. <laughs> Which, if you don't know what yaoi is, I'm pretty sure you should know what it is. It's a uh, guy on guy. But he has a damn good big collection of Yuri, which is girl, which is girl on girl, so I'm cool with that. I, I love me some big ass anime titties, especially naked. <laughs> well, the way I said that was so weird. Naked. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, JJ asks two questions. What do you honestly think about pathetic trolls on social media? And two, what do you think about the about the mini NES, and do you think a future mini SNES or N64 will be released? For the troll question, I think that they're just basically attention whores. They kind of crave it. Just, they, they just crave attention. Um, I also think that some, that some trolls are jealous of other people, like, you know, look at guys like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie. Um, I mean, they... I mean, People who troll them, obviously, or, or hate on them, probably are just people who wish that, that they had everything that they had. You know, a, a, a great, loyal fan base, a lot of people that really care about them. Um, just the fact that people like them make a fuck ton of money off YouTube, so... Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that's uh, basically my view on trolls. But they're basically kind of... They're also kind of like maggots. They're gonna feast on, on the on the rotting corpse of, of any freaking YouTuber or anybody in the world, and they're gonna feed on until like there's nothing left and just go on to the next person. Um, like there's there's between you know assholes slash pathetic trolls and fun tr and and just trolling for for fun, you know. But you know, I really don't mean it in a way. Like I have several friends of mine, like you know, really good friends, um, that you know troll me, but it's it's all like in good fun. You know, that's the type of trolling that I like. Even guys like Collecting Guru, like, Collecting Guru, he sometimes trolls on my videos, and I know that he, he's actually just being, you know, just being fun with it. So, his, so him, I'm fine with. But, yeah. Uh, as for your second question about the mini NES, um, I'm not really interested in it. I mean, I don't really see the point from, from my aspect for someone who can just easily go on a emulator site, download a emulator, and download the 30 games that it comes with. Granted, they won't be in, in HD, but I'll still be playing the games for free instead of paying $60 for them. 
I mean, maybe that's just me because I didn't grow up in the NES age. I grew up in the Super Nintendo slash N64 age. So maybe that's why I'm more towards that. Well, maybe that's why I feel towards the, the mini NES. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if if you want to get it, you know, great, fine. I have no, Nothing's going to stop you from... None, no, don't let me stop you from, from doing it. As for a future SNES for a mini one of that, um, I would definitely buy it. That I would fucking buy, hands down. Um, only if it had the library of games for it. Uh, like If it included the first Mega Man X or, or the first three, I'll fucking buy it in a goddamn heartbeat just for those games. Uh, maybe for Super Mario World, because that's... Even though I don't like Mario, that's my favorite Mario game, is Super Mario World. Um, but uh, for a mini N64... I don't think that would work because I don't because well for me at least I don't like the N64 controller I think it's ugly looking looks like a fucking parallel with a giant fucking dick hanging out uh, probably the worst design controller ever some people say that the worst design controller is probably the GameCube controller which I think is kind of bullshit that that thing is a solid piece of hardware so that's just my opinion on it um, but hope that answers your question JJ uh, Sega CD Universe asks, is the Wii U still worth buying? That I couldn't even tell you because obviously I don't own a Wii U. I mean, I would say buy a Wii U if it has the right number of games you want to buy on it. Like, I'd probably only buy a Wii U for Mario Kart 8, Pokemon Tournament, Smash Bros, probably all probably all the Zelda games, and maybe even like Bayonetta 2 or, or the wonderful 101. Those are probably the only games I would buy for the Wii U because that's the only games I think are fun. Maybe, maybe even the Star Fox game too. The Star Fox Zero, which is basically, I think, an HD remake of Star Fox 64 with a few more added things to it. That's from what I've heard it is. Can't say much on that one. But uh, hope that answers your, your question, Sega CD Universe. Only buy the Wii U if it has the number of games you want to play on it that are exclusive to it. So, yeah. Uncle Jerry, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, he asks three questions. Um, what was your favorite cartoon growing up? Can you please do food reviews? And what's your favorite band? Uh, to answer question two really quick, no, I'm not going to do food reviews. I don't know why I would. Uh, you want to see food reviews, uh, go watch something like fucking Food Network or goddamn uh, Epic Meal Time. I, I, I don't fucking know. As her favorite cartoon growing up, uh, probably Beast Wars, Transformers, probably or that one. I love the fuck out of that show. It's one of my favorite cartoons of all time, still to this day. And what's your favorite band? That one is really hard to answer because I have so many favorites. I mean, I, I love a lot of I mostly listen to American like rock, heavy metal, stuff like, like that. For American bands, I listen to, you know, guys like Daft Punk. I'm a huge Daft Punk fan. Five Finger Death Punch, Breaking Benjamin, Disturbed, um, God, who the who the fuck else? I mean, guys like them, you know, those are the top type of guys that I listen to. I also listen to a fucking lot of um, J of J rock bands like Oz, Born, Distraught Overlords, The Gazette. I think that's how you pronounce your name, and uh, Gurugamesh. So, but definitely check out those Japanese bands. Those guys are really fucking awesome. Also, you know, J pop bands like Flow and whatnot. Those guys are really good. Flow, definitely check those guys out. But uh, then, then he says, keep up the great work. Sorry, keep up the great videos, man. Thank you, Uncle Jay. <clears throat> and then Pro Loser Kid asks, what's good and bad about game about Video Game Wizard? Well, you should have watched my uh, video on, my videos on those, but they're deleted, so too bad for you. And then Eddie1134 asks, hey, Jabroni, what do you feel would be the best way to bring in a new Mega Man game for this generation. We have seen tons of 2D, 3D side scrollers over the years. Me Mega Man X, Legends, or in this case, Legend, he said. I, I, I think it's Legends, but whatever. Uh, Battle Network and Zero. Even got to fight with him in Smash. Something, maybe something we, maybe something new we haven't seen before. Great, great question, actually. It's unfortunately really hard to be original in the gaming scene now nowadays. I mean, especially you know, going back, you know, to you know the recent take down a Pokemon Uranium. Um, people were kind of saying that, oh, like, they should have been like original and whatnot. When he hears the thing, even if they were to change that, it got like millions of downloads, by the way. Um, even if they remove the Pokemon name, call it something else and change a few things, 
it would have been regarded as a Pokemon clone and probably nowhere near as successful and not even nowhere near as, as talked about. That's what Pat, the, the Aeneas Punk, and his friend Ian are not fucking realizing. They're they're taking more of Nintendo side. Sure, it's, it's their property, but at the same time, you know, it's really hard to be original. It, it, it's incredibly hard to, to be original. Everything is going to rip off everything. Like, every first-person shooter technically is a rip-off of Every first-person shooter technically is a ripoff of Wolfenstein, so there's that. Um, but I'm currently playing a game called Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and it's kind of like a combination of like a card game slash Puzzles and Dragons kind of thing. Which, if you haven't played Puzzles and Dragons, definitely check it out. It's really really fun. Excuse me. Mm. God, it's so sweet. Um, but I would say do something like Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, but make it Mega Man. It'd be kind of cool, because you have a fuck ton of Mega Man characters, by the way. You have guys from the Legend series, Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, Battle Network, hell, even the fucking Star, the Star Force series, which is a really underrated Mega Man series. Um, but one game I really want to see that I don't think we've ever actually had, in fact, is a Mega Man 2D tournament fighter. You know games like Aquapaza and um, the, the Guilty Gear games and the Persona ge and the Persona 4 Arena? Games like those where it's like anime character, where it's like, you know, 2D, where it's a 2D slash 3D um, anime tournament fighter? Why not do that with Mega Man? I mean, you have a fuck ton of Mega Man characters. Like I said, I mean, you have, you know, uh, well, maybe what you could do have different variations of those characters and have each one of them have a different move set and have their ultra or their super be different. So that would be something cool to do. I mean Capcom I would say try that out. I mean I know that like you done I mean I know that you kinda of dwell in, in the whole fighting game thing via, you know, Marvel versus Capcom or yeah. Yeah. But try that with, with the Mega Man stuff. I mean you have a fuck ton of Mega Man characters to work with, so do that. Um, so yeah, a two D Mega Man tournament fighter. I would like to see that one. So thank you, Eddie, uh, for the great question, actually. Joshua Kendrick asks three questions. Do you prefer dub or sub anime? Favorite Vita game? And do you like live action anime movies? Uh, question one, There, I really don't prefer either. I mean, I like both, but I'd probably say sub more only because I feel that the Japanese voices, excuse me, um, kind of really, I guess you would say act better that makes sense like you really feel for the character when, when you hear it straight from japan if that makes sense honestly like hearing it from their voices it really feels like that they're really you know giving it their all for their lines so that's just me honestly i mean sorry if that doesn't even make sense for an answer but uh, i hope it does but yeah that's my opinion on sub slash dub anime favorite vita game i only have like what like five six vita games so i, I couldn't even tell you um i guess my favorite probably would be Probably Hyper Devotion Noir Goddess Blackheart, the Hyper Dimension spinoff. So I think that one might be my favorite, but yeah. There's still a, a good handful of Vita games I do want to buy to, you know, make that, to make that, uh, you know, a lot better collection. But uh, do I like live action anime films? Well, it depends on, it, it depends really. I mean, some are, are really bad. Dragon Ball Evolution. We don't need to say why it's bad. We just know it's bad. <laughs> but no, like, if you have seen Dragon Ball Evolution, you fucking know that America can't do shit for, for anime, live-action films. Um, same, same thing goes, like, for fucking... <laughs> same thing goes, like, for the King of Fighters um, live-action film. That one is a piece of shit. Um, it just really depends. I mean, the live-action Death Note films, those are all really good. Those are all really well done. Um... I mean, I didn't hear a single b bad thing said about the, the live-action Death Note movies, so I mean, I really, I mean, I really enjoy those. Um, I have, I have seen the, the trailer for the new one, Light Up the New World, which is, looks really fucking good. I really cannot wait to see that one. I've seen the Attack on Titan one. That one, it's okay. I mean, it's not that great, considering the fact that it's made by Toho, the guys who made Godzilla for God's sake. Some people kind of complained that all the fighting was very Godzilla-ish. Well, no fucking shit. It's made, it's made by the guys who made Godzilla, so fuck off. But uh, it, but to answer your question, really, it just all depends on if 
on how fateful it sticks towards the anime slash manga, uh, if the writing is good, and if the storytelling is good as well. So, yeah. So, I hope that answers your, your three questions. Mimo asks two questions. Favorite video game character of all time and favorite console slash handheld of all time. Favorite game character, I'd probably say, is Mega Man Zero, or just Zero from the Mega Man X series. Zero in that series is, is a complete fucking badass. Uh, whenever I get the chance to play as him in those games, I always do, because it's fucking Zero. He's a goddamn badass. Um, <clears throat> plus, with that goddamn Z Saber, I fucking love that, and that long, flowing orange hair, like fucking Super Saiyan hair. Super Saiyan 3 hair. That's a cool concept, too. Zero as a Super Saiyan 3, that, that'd be kind of cool. Zero as a Super Saiyan 3. As for favorite console slash handheld, I'll do both. One for handheld, one for console. Uh, console, hands down, the Super Nintendo. That's my favorite game console of all time. Uh, that's why I kind of want to get an original Super Nintendo just to have it and then get a, a Retron 5 to play the games. So, um, but that's my, my favorite console. Plus, I grew up with it the most um, and whatnot. So, favorite handheld, I would normally say the 3DS, but... I've been playing the ever living shit out of my Vita and my PSP like like ever since I bought the Vita now, I don't know why. And I have a greater love for those two consoles. Well, sorry, for those two handhelds now. So I would say for favorite handheld, it's honestly a tie between the Vita and, and the PSP. Some great games are on that. Just it wasn't marketed well and just it didn't really have the library of games for it. I mean, there are a lot of great games on, on the Vita and the PSP, don't get me wrong. It's just some of those games weren't even marketed correctly. So, but yeah, I hope that answers your question. Eric asks, will I ever use Rogaine? Uh, no, I think I'm going to keep it like this type type of short. Yeah, I think, think as good as Or just keep it like an inch or like an inch, inch, inch and a half left. Because I think it looks better. But, you know, give it like a cut like this. You know, I think, I think it looks better. And Collecting Guru, I love this guy. Um... Ask, would you turn gay to be in a Godzilla film? No, def definitely not. I love the character, but I don't love him like like that much. Have you seen Aaron Aaron's dick? No, I've not. Like you and Mr. Pickle P P P body have an obsession with, with Aaron's penis. God damn, guys. Are are you trying to hide some guru? It's okay, man. You can come out of the closet. We ain't gonna judge you. Get 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 out of the closet. Don't want, to, don't want to be locked in this closet. Like R. Kelly. But yeah, um... And last question he asks, Have you caught Aaron ma masturbating? No, and I'm pretty sure if I did, I'd probably just... Shoot me, I'd probably just kill myself. Straight up ask uh, my good buddy Neil to run me over with, with, with his car as I'm slitting my throat. And also cutting out my eyeballs. So yeah. Well, that video just got demonetized for that. So, thank you. And Maiden, yeah, Maiden89 asks, uh, do you plan on visiting Japan? Yes, I would love to at some point in time. Sometime before I die, I would love to go to Japan. Either Osaka, Tokyo, Hokkaido, uh, Fukushima. I don't think Fukushima is even like a fucking place anyways. I, I, that was a, that, I botched that up entirely. Something like just Fukushima just popped in my head. I, I want to say it is a place, but I'm, it just popped in my head for, for some reason. Uh, I, wa I really want to visit uh, Akihabara, which is basically like the biggest, like, you know, anime slash video game city in all of fucking... Um, the thing I don't think it's a, I think it's actually a district. Ne never mind. Um, in, all, like, all of Japan. Like, it's fucking n nothing but, like, anime and fucking um, game shit. Like, I wanted to go to that place ever since I played fucking a a Akihabara's Trip uh, Undead and Undressed. That place looks so fucking cool to go to, so I, I really want to, like, visit that place. But I, either that or Tokyo, it's one of the two. Um, Val State Approach? I, I he, he has a picture of, like, early collar from Squidbill as his icon. He knows who he is. He asks three questions. Okay. What is your oldest Godzilla figure? I know there are some really cool ones from the 70s and 80s out there. Two, what is your favorite garage sale find ever? And three, what ever happened to the mold? To answer question one, um, 
it's not the oldest I have. Well, I think, I think it is, yeah. Uh, for Godzilla wise, probably my um, Godzilla wind up toy. It's actually a third reissue of a figure that was released, in, I think, like the 50s or 60s in Japan. Um, if you look on my channel for some in some of my older videos, um, that's where it where it is. Like you know, you can see like at least two videos and some of my older, old, really older videos um, on it. So yeah. As for a favorite garage sale find, it really technically even wasn't a garage sale find, but it was my. Uh, hold on. Good. It was. Um, Where the hell this is this actually? It's my uh, this guy right here. So uh, this guy right here, this is my uh, vintage Bandai Red King figure. Yeah, this was released in uh, 1983. Yeah, this is currently the oldest uh, Ultraman figure I currently own. Yeah, super, super rare. Well, not really rare, rare, but pretty uncommon to find at a garage sale. Well, I actually went to uh, Webster with Aaron. That was my first time going to, to Webster. That, that's where I found him. But I got him for like five bucks, which is pretty damn good. So, cool. Um... <clears throat> And as for whatever happened to the mole, uh, he's just he's just working. He's got a, he's still working at McDonald's, working that good old nine to five shift. Don't know what shift that is really. Sorry, well, I don't know what shift he, he actually is working, but he's just working his his ass off to pay uh, you know his pay bills and shit like that. Him, Chris, and his Chris's brother all live in the same trailer, so uh, it's pretty cool. Like they actually have air conditioning in there now, which is great. Actually, there's like a fourth guy that also lives there too. His name is Adam. Um, he also li lives there too. Um, but yeah, that's where the mole is now. Then he's just you know still working at McDonald's. Also, I apologize for my chair. <clears throat> it's getting old now. Fucking fly or whatever the hell it was. And last two questions come from Zedpool1991. He says, one, what is your favorite Godzilla figure and why? Two, who is your favorite pony and why? Hope these questions are good. Keep up the great work, man. Okay, Zpool, thank you for the last two great, you know, fun questions. Favorite Godzilla figure probably is my Bandai Titanosaurus currently, until I get that new figure, which I will show you in a future unboxing video. But uh, Titanosaurus is my favorite Godzilla monster. Plus, that figure is like around like the seventy to eighty dollar mark without tag. He's like a ninety to a hundred plus with the tag attached. Mine sadly came without tag, but I'm fine with that. Um, I got him for free from a, a very good friend of mine named Goji Girl, who uh, I've not talked to in like fucking forever. She has an online store, so like that. So, but yeah, I got that figure for free, and I just love the ever living shit out of that figure. It's so fucking awesome. I love that figure so much. Um, but yeah, um, just great detail, great paint job, pretty much spot on to the. Uh, figure. Except for, I think, the Toy Dream Project version, that one, I believe, is 100% accurate in terms of color-wise to the to the, to the on-screen counterpart. Unless you have the X-Plus figure, which that one is dead spot-on accurate. <clears throat> and for his question, two answer favorite pony and why? Probably Princess Luna. Uh, just I love her, her design. I love her voice. Good old Tabitha St. Germain voices Luna. Um... I love her character, her sad... I, I'm, most, I'm most kind of a sucker for characters who, who have tragic backstories, even in fucking anime. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just love it. There's a lot about Luna I love. I mean, just, you know, I like like I said, her design, her her character, her backstory, and whatnot. So, yeah, there's, there's my answer for, 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 for that question. And that is, in fact, it for all the questions. So, a pretty damn good little bit of questions. So, thank you all for answering these uh, questions. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara. Oh, and also, that big... God damn, excuse me. That big-ass dresser thing that's still over here. That's being moved Monday. So, expect some type of video Friday because this whole entire week I have off work. So, yes. I am so happy with that. I'm recording this on Sunday, and this whole entire week I am off work because of holidays. So fuck yeah! So again, hope hope you guys all enjoyed, and sayonara.